Since 2015, food insecurity has shown an alarming increase in the Europe and Central Asia region, a trend exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic, war in Ukraine, earthquakes in Turkey, severe drought, and numerous adverse weather events stemming from climate change. All shocks which have led to an increased cost of living for all. At the same time, the region has witnessed a continuous decrease in government expenditure towards agriculture, despite the fact that investment in agri-food systems is critical for improving food security, creating employment, building resilience to disasters and shocks, and reaching the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. SDG 2 Zero Hunger is crucial in this regard, as hunger and malnutrition fundamentally limit human development, pushing all the other SDG targets further from reach. New data from the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe UNECE, shows that the region is on track to achieve only 20 targets out of 117 by 2030, down from 26 targets in 2022. While improving the global economy and health, agri-food systems also have a pivotal role to play in helping to achieve climate commitments by offering solutions for countries to adapt, build resilience and mitigate emissions. And the UN's issue-based coalition on sustainable food systems seeks to address the nexus between climate change and food systems through a range of programmes and projects in the Europe and Central Asia region. FAO is working to improve the productivity and competitiveness of small family farms that dominate the Republic of North Macedonia's agriculture sector. This land consolidation work, combined with improved access to roads, irrigation and drainage, contributes in particular to SDG Target 2.3 by aiming to double the productivity and income of these small-scale food producers. The mountainous Kyrgyz Republic is highly dependent on food imports and remittances. 67% of its population live in rural areas where climate-induced disasters such as mud flows and floods are common. The damage to settlements and farmlands has a significant negative impact on levels of nutrition and economic growth. Gabion nets strengthen slopes and protect riverbeds and banks, but previously these have been produced locally by hand. Now, with the support of the Swiss government, WFP has established two automated gabion net production centres. These facilities, which meet annual requirements, are also supported by a fleet of new trucks, which deliver the nets to remote regions. In Uzbekistan, migration has left many rural areas disproportionately populated by women, and UNDP is supporting them to make a significant contribution to the cultivation and processing of agricultural products in the face of climate change. Work that draws on UNDP's long-term promotion of gender equality and empowerment of women and girls as an accelerator of the Sustainable Development Goals. In Turkey, IFAD seeks to improve rural livelihoods through the rehabilitation and sustainable use of natural assets by linking the rehabilitation of degraded land, vegetation and water resources with poverty reduction. Timely access to inputs and improvements to production and processing have had a positive impact on approximately 20,000 households. The way we produce and consume food through our food systems is tightly interconnected with environment and health. The WHO Europe tool for Diet Impact Assessment, or DIA, produced for policymakers and health professionals, enables countries to analyse user-specific scenarios of dietary change and thereby estimate the health, environmental and cost burden of scenarios including food-related greenhouse gas emissions, land use, water use and fertiliser application. These are just some of the diverse perspectives, innovative practices and impactful policies from the ECA region that are addressing resilience and climate impacts on food systems and nutrition.